Mark from Vortec Pro. Today we got something a little different from our uh, 620 horse 467 build. Uh, we'll be getting back to that soon, but we've got a little test coming here that we're going to share with you guys on the internet. Uh, remember back in, back in the day in the 70s and 80s, for those of you old enough to remember, remember when you were couldn't wait for your magazines to come out, Hot Rod, Car Craft. You know, back in the magazines, they, they would build an engine and they would put it in a car and they'd usually take it to the track and drag test it. I love a drag test. Well, actually, I love a dyno ta test slash drag test. And I really miss those kind of magazines. Uh, you know, you can go back I want to mention some of the some of the editors of these magazines that really wrote good articles, and they, they actually raced. So they use they use their job to build the motors they wanted to build and put in their cars and go race. And uh, you know we're talking about people like Rick Vogelin, Norman Mayer, Sean, C.J. Baker, Doug Marion, remember Connell Performer, Jim McFarlane, Dave Emanuel. John Diana, and even David Vizard. These guys all wrote great articles. They don't do they don't do these kind of articles in magazines anymore. I miss it. Maybe some of you miss it. I don't know. But that brings me to what we're going to do now. We're going to dyno test these 496s I sell, these 650 horse 496s, and we're going to put it in my car and we're going to drag test it. And it's going to be a quick, quick deal. It's not going to be a long process like this 467, 620 horse build. I mean, we have to build this motor as we have free time, and I mean, we're pretty busy here at the shop. One of my customers was nice enough to let us run this, this 650 horse 496, and let me uh, tell you what, what that motor is. What we do is we start out with a production 454 block, and we we machine the block uh, as far as we bore it the 60 over, of course, we deck it and line hone it and prep the block and, you know, do all the processes you have to do to the block. And we use a scat rotating assembly in it with a 6385 rod and a ball 18cc dome piston. Then uh, ISKI, for now, is supplying the 238 at 50 hydraulic rollers that we use in them. And basically that cam is 238, 248, 578, 608 on 110 degree lobe separation. Generally we put them in around 106, 4 degrees advance. And the heads would be, we like to use an 049 GM oval port on those because the chamber is a little bit bigger. And uh, we set the compression about 9, 8 to 1. That's where we like, like to get it. That's why we use that 049 head. Of course we put a 2190 inch 880 valve in it with a bronze guide. We fully port the head and on top of the heads we put a performer RPM air gap with generally a thousand CFM AED 4150 carb. Uh, typically we'll use a Moroso pan and we'll we'll make our modifications to it and uh, put our own windage stuff in the pan to control the oil. And uh, that's pretty much a rundown on what they are and uh, what we'll do is we'll go back and show you the motor on the dyno that's going in the car. And we're going to film it at the track. Uh, keep in mind, my car that this is going in, the rear end's been replaced, the transmission's been replaced, it's all new. So when we go to the track, we're going to something that's all new. Hopefully we can get it done. Uh, I have a feeling we will get it done, but you can follow along with us and watch it.
typically this is what one of these things makes for power. This is your horsepower column, your torque column. So this one is basically in the high 650s on the torque and right around 650 horsepower and it peaked, peaked around 6300 RPM. Uh, so Let's talk a little bit about the car. My car is a 68 Chevelle. It uh, has a 9 inch tire on it. Turbo 350. Uh, it's got the full interior of the back seats out of it right now. We'll run the car to known weight. We know it weighs 3720, ready to race. Now, I have 200 pounds of weight bolted in the car to get it to 3720, but that's how we run the car. And, uh, we're going to put this engine in there, and depending on the conditions, I mean, we're going to see what it'll run. Uh, this will be very similar to our peanut pour drag test. Unfortunately, we didn't get the video of that, but you can read about it in Team Chevelle. If you do a Google search and look up Vortec Pro peanut pour drag test, you can see it. This will be the same type of format as that, uh, running the same car. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can get it to run.